How's it going, everybody? Hello. We are one half of the band There for Tomorrow. I'm Chris. I'm Micah. We are uh, hanging out with our girl Tori from RockForeverMagazine.com. Hey guys, this is Tori from Rock Forever Magazine, and I'm here today with half of There for Tomorrow. How are you guys? Good. All Very right. Good. We're in the yeah. holiday spirit. So. Definitely. Still. On yeah. the holiday tour with Versa Emerge. It's going yeah. good. So how did you guys come up with the name There for Tomorrow? Actually, our bassist Jay came up with the name, and um, this was uh, pre-Christian being in the band. So this was when we were still in early high school, and um, we were actually signed back in that day, which wow. is kind of weird to think about, but we were putting out our first record, and we were like, we need a band name, but we, we actually put a lot of thought into it. We had gone through multiple band names, and Jay just we wrote down a bunch of names, and Jay had written down there for tomorrow, and we were like, that, that honestly represents what we want to do with music, you know, we want to, we like everything that has a hopeful aspect, um, and it's just, it implies that there's something that's going to happen in the future and that our music's going to stick around and we're kind of here to stay and we've, we've been a band for a long time and I think that kind of speaks for itself. And you definitely have a lot going on now, you have the new album coming out yeah. in 2011, so what can you tell us about that? Like it? Um, man, we just went for something different and... For a long time, we were really uh, accommodating everybody else's wishes of what our band is and what we should do. But we really just made the record we wanted to make. And we've always been a rock and roll band, but it's never been stamped in, in place. So I think this will really, uh, give everybody a clear cut thinking of what they're for tomorrow yeah. is. And it's a new path, but um, we wrote it all in about seven days and um, recorded it all in a month. Wrote it and recorded it in a month. Yeah. So. We're excited. We're sitting it's on it good. right now, so uh, we're Should ready to awesome. uh, put it out. Yeah, I'll definitely buy it. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, you'll buy it? Yes. Wow. I will buy it. <laughs> Nowadays, and you could just go to like, there for tomorrow. New album, media, media share, media fire, or media send fire, space, <laughs> rapid share, free download. I'll buy it. It's okay. We, you money. know what? You know what? We we love people just listening to our music and knowing that's, that. I mean, love that's it, the so. best tool of the internet. Yeah. We're, the yeah, we're not. We're not like negative about what is going on with our generation, you know, we're not stoked about it's it. It's a new thing, It's yeah. tough, but you know, at the same time, you gotta accept it, and we just hope that people don't overlook our music, because this record is definitely something special, and it's definitely gonna make us, I think, stand out with, with you know, certain things that we've kind of been stamped with. Yeah. yeah so we're, we're very excited to make that leap and really have our own sound and be something new and fresh. And I know you guys are doing the Soundwave Festival, right, in Australia. Yeah, Australia. yeah. it'll be our first time. Yeah. In, uh, your first time out of the country? Or no, no. no? Uh, we've been to Japan. Oh, wow. Uh, UK. Nice. Twice. But uh, we, uh, we've we been getting a lot of love from Australia for a long time. Um, and it's it's great to be able to travel halfway around the world to be able to play our music yeah. to people that actually know it. So. So there's definitely like a bunch of other bands that's like Warp Tour in Australia. Yeah, it's well, I'm might be even it's it's actually scale, a lot yeah. a lot bigger than Warp. It's yeah. almost like if you were to take like what Warp Tour kind of sort of you know the summer feel of it and mix it with like Bamboozle, what goes on in New Jersey because nice. they really do. There's no like one style of band. It's very different. Like yeah. you might see Iron Maiden on one stage and go to another stage and see like you know our friends the Main. Which yeah. is a completely different thing. Or yeah. later on in the day, Queens of the Stone Age are you know we're big fans of big Thirty fan. Seconds to Mars. Yeah, they're playing, and that like it's pretty cool to you know be have our name listed on a bill with you know uh, you know not only our best friends in other bands, but bands that we've looked up to for years yeah. and people that inspire us. Well, speaking of Warp Tour, you guys were on the Warp Tour in 2009. So do you think maybe you come back again in 2009? We'll see. There's talks. Maybe. We'll There's see. talks. We'll see. <laughs> All right, now um, more random question. What are the most played songs on your iPod? That's a good question. Uh, I think most played on my iPhone, probably Sylvia by Mike Snow. Nice. Uh, as of lately, I'm obsessed with this song, and it, it's their single, so it's kind of a cliche. But uh, Silver Sun Pickups, Panic Switch. Yeah. It's just a, nice. it's a great song. Right. I've been Good. listening to it a lot. Now, like you said, you started in early high school with the band. So what made you want to start a band? Do you want to get into this? Uh, we started in middle school. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Obviously, you don't really have too many 
premeditation in like middle school. You just fall into things. So that's what it was. We played my middle school dance. Nice. <laughs> everybody was looking at us, wondering what the heck we were doing up there. But we really we were kind of the never rock gods of the school. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We really never cared. We were just doing our thing. So. It's always been it's always been tr truly for the love of the music. Yeah. You know, we didn't we didn't get together three times or four times in a week with expectations to be rock stars. Yeah, we truly really just like loved it. Like we didn't ever talk about, you know, after high school or like what are we gonna do? Like, we're never, never gonna we're never gonna expect to be rock stars. Yeah. Really. Yeah. That's, well, you're getting there. You're getting there. I don't we don't believe in rock stars. <laughs> that, doesn't exist um, that doesn't exist anymore. We believe in musicians and we believe in awesome fans. And, passionate and yeah, people. yeah, and when those things are combined something special can happen. But it takes a really, really good fan of music, which is what we are to make that happen. There's, yeah. there's really no such thing as rock stars anymore. Well, on the other side of the story, what do you think you would be doing if you weren't in a band right now? If you hadn't started in middle school? Uh, that's, a, that's the if game. I yeah, don't know. You know they're playing with else. Destiny. You're I, gonna kill us. I have a lot of <laughs> friends that are even older than me that have already graduated college and they don't know what they want to do. And, you know, I think we, we've all, like, we've put so much into music, it's all we ever think about, but, you know, we're all, like, we all have our head, heads on straight, so, you know, if if music was stripped away from our lives as, you know, touring musicians, we would all, you know, find something that we, we love and still be best friends. And music will always be an important part of our lives, no matter what happens. Yeah, definitely. So, have you had any crazy fan experiences yet? Um, we, I mean... We don't ever like to say like fan experiences that are crazy and make them sound bad. No. Because well, we don't want to make anybody look bad. But there's yeah. some people out there that they go pretty crazy. They you know? creep up. Yeah. They creep up. Um, where, where were we in, uh, was it Birmingham? Uh, Birmingham, the, was in, in England. Birmingham, uh, the, the lady that w with the Jared Leto sparkly oh, shirt. Oh yeah, that was scary. We had a, we had a very, a very, she was, she was older and it, if she, for some reason watches this, you know, this isn't a bad thing at all, but she just, liked to follow you everywhere you went and really like you know and over, touch you and, touch you and, and <laughs> this and she, I'm, t I'm talking like I think older than my mom oh, if not older than my mom my mom's age and you know it, I, I'm flattered that she's a huge fan of music but you know there's people out there that are a little over the top yeah. with meeting the bands that they love and, and, the, and the specific members that they love in bands and power to them for, for pursuing meeting them but you know maybe chill out a little bit. <laughs> Now to everyone who doesn't know your music or is just checking you out, where can they go to hear your music? Well, all you gotta type is our name in Google and you can find a lot of different websites. You download that, everything for free. Yeah, you can you can share you can <laughs> or share. Or you can go on iTunes. Well yeah. See, buy it. <laughs> I mean, of course everybody knows about iTunes, whether they want to go yeah. there or not. Our you, our band name is there for tomorrow, three words. And uh, you know, we're we're on pure volume, MySpace. Facebook is probably the best way to, to keep up with our band these days. We, we like to do a lot of interaction on our website, though, and that's just therefortomorrow.com. And, you know, we, we have all the internet sites like Twitter. It, it's, it's very easy to get a hold of us and we're personal with our fans. The quick follow and the quick communication is at therefortmrw. Yeah. But um, hit us up on Twitter. But therefortomorrow.com is the main domain where you get everything videos yeah. from YouTube. Everything's linked through there. Yeah. So. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. Totally. It's been great talking to you. And to everyone out there, go check out There for Tomorrow. Rock Do forever. 2011. I thought you promised me.